celebrate Black History Month. This morning, we're also honoring the legacy of black veterans. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wakisha Bailey met two World War II veterans, one black, one white, who met decades later and developed a deep friendship. This is when I uh, finished my basic training. They gave me my stripes. Who was that guy? Two hometown heroes here inside the ACES Veterans Museum in Germantown. Gun ho. We're going to save the world. We met retired Corporal Benjamin Berry last year, the day before his 100th birthday. When I joined the veterans of the Battle of the Bulge, there were 33 members. Today, there are only two myself and another fella, Jake Rizzo. Berry was adamant that we meet his dear friend, retired Private First Class Jake Rooser. Today, they are sitting together, both wearing a D Day Poppy remembrance pin. They both served in the Army. Well, I was drafted back in 1943. Got the notice, uh, of course, you know, uh, invited to uh, report. Mm -hmm. Receiving that, you had no choice but to go. In 1944, almost all black GIs were assigned to the service units, providing for white soldiers. Their duties included cooking, laundry, and digging ditches. Then the call came for Barry's unit to join the front lines in the Battle of the Bulge. It's amazing, it's amazing, and once you see how we got ashore and able to climb those cliffs. They had a dead eye, dead beat on us as we landed. Rooster also risked his life to care for the wounded. But the Sears, they wounded, who, instead of leaving them lay there, we go out and pick them up and bring them back to get medical treatment. Barry was one of more than 2,500 black soldiers who fought alongside white soldiers during Hitler's last major offensive campaign on the Western Front. Now, almost 80 years later, the two became dear friends as members of the Delaware Valley chapter of the Battle of the Bulge Association. And today, they are fighting a new battle that begins with supporting museums like ACES and pushing for a local World War II monument. We've been trying for, I guess, the last 20 years to get one, and we still haven't gotten it. As the only two remaining members, they've become close, even celebrating Rooster's 99th birthday. But they continue to question who will continue to share their stories of victories, sacrifices, and friendship. Since the other fellows have gone on to glory, just Jake and I left out of the 33. Deep, deep, deep friends. Well, Keisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia.